Bonjour tout le monde! The French long meals. Did you know that traditional French meals had seven and a half steps? Soon, you'll know what makes the French meal special. We'll talk about the apéro, the French dessert, and everything in between, and after. You'll know how to manage your appetite in this French food seven and a half step marathon. And some unexpected French secrets. I'll share at the end of the video. Bonjour, I'm Giga, a French real expat, born in Brittany and raised in Lyon. I blog at Expats in France to help English-speaking expats to decode the French culture and also manage the French administration. I'm just starting out on YouTube, so if you like what you see, please like this video to encourage me by clicking on the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Merci! You've been invited to French dinner and you don't know what to expect? I'll guide you through to make sure you don't make a faux pas. Many times I've invited foreign friends to eat with my family. For special occasions such as Christmas, birthday meals or barbecue parties. And they were not expected the way French people were doing it. Once I had Argentinian friends for dinner with my family, my parents and everyone. We had a typical French dinner. But because I didn't think to explain them how it would go, everything that I'm gonna tell you now, they were already full before the main course actually arrived. My fault. Get ready for some food marathon. Step one. A meal with guests always start with an aperitif that we also call apéro. If you've already been to France, or if you're an expat here, for sure you've already had an apéro. Well, at least I hope. This is a drink, usually alcoholic one, that people will have before their meal. Well, also if you don't like alcohol, if you don't drink alcohol, this is totally okay to ask for a soft drink. The apéro is the first step of the traditional French meal declared as an intangible world heritage by UNESCO in 2010. Pretty serious, right? Well, you'll understand why in this video. You could have the apéro before lunch, usually taken on weekends, but not only. Or it would be before dinner. If you're invited at a French home, we would usually have the apéro either in the living room, or if it's more casual, you could have it in the kitchen while the dinner is getting prepared. The apéro is usually served with small snacks, more or less elaborated. It could be, for example, raw vegetables, cut in batten with a dip, or it could be some small canapés. Funny thing, in French, we don't really use this word canapé. A canapé also means, in French, sofa. So when we use canapé, it's usually to the thing that we sit on. For the food, we usually use the English word toast or the word tartin more often. I'll tell you, my favorite apéro snack is the cougère. They are small cheese breads from Burgundy. My grandma has a great recipe. If you want it, I share it in the comments below. During a French meal, dishes are always served one after the other. So you need to manage your appetite. Don't have too many gougères. Once apéro is over, your host usually invites you to move to the dinner table. So that's when the actual dinner starts, with the step two. The first course, which is usually light, often a salad. There can be several starters, such as a salad with a quiche, or a salad with a pâté, for example. In France, the salad can only be lettuce with a vinaigrette sauce. Once, a Russian friend of mine told me that he was shocked the first time he was served lettuce in France. For him, lettuce alone is rabbit food. One small wine lover tip. This is not recommended to have wine with a salad containing vinaigrette. 
which doesn't go really well with the wine. But to be quite honest, many French people will have wine anyway with their salad if they feel like it. At least I do. Then your host will take away the first course to bring the main one. If this is a fancy dinner, the plates can even be changed for each course. And then comes the step three, the main course, which is usually meat or fish served with vegetables and or carbs. But we do not have more than one carb in the plate, such as rice and pasta or rice and potatoes, as some country would have. However, bread will always be served with the food. This is our second carb. Vegetarian dishes are not so common and they are not really part of French food culture. However, if you are vegetarian, I strongly recommend you to inform your host so that they can adapt the menu for you, otherwise you might end up just eating rabbit food. French food is regional, so there is no national French dish. For example, the crepes are from Brittany and the quiche is from Lorraine in the northeast of France. The same goes with the wine. Besides Brittany, Normandy and the Paris region, almost every French region produces its own wine traditionally. The regional food usually matches pretty well the local wines. I'm not myself a wine expert, but for sure I appreciate it. And I know some basics. Many French people tend to drink mainly their regional wines and sometimes from other French regions. Foreign wines are slowly entering the French market but this is not really a French thing to have curiosity to try wine from overseas. Listen, I was 23 years old when I tried foreign wine for the first time, and at the time I was living abroad in Argentina, imagine. Then comes the step four, with the cheese. This is my favorite part of the meal, that I miss the most when I'm abroad, besides my family, of course. French cheese is worth a separate video, because it has its whole set of rules, so you'll find this video up there, or up there. <laughs> cheese is a dish in France and an actual part of a French meal. Again, cheese is original. For example, the camembert is from Normandy or the Brie de Meaux is from a town called Meaux in the Brie region, not far from Paris. There are about 30 cheeses that you will find everywhere in France. All the rest are mainly local. But you might be wondering how many cheeses are there really in France? Well, there is no set number, but some people say that there is one cheese per day of the year. That's a lot, right? Since cheese eating etiquette can be confusing, I advise you to observe first how French people cut and eat their cheese and try to do the same. Some French people would not care how you cut it. Others could give funny looks or even comment. Then comes the step five. Finally, the French dessert. The best part for all of the people that have a sweet tooth. French people usually end their meal with a sweet note, even for everyday meals. A simple dessert would be having a fruit or a yogurt. Cakes and pastries are a treat. We do not eat pastries every day, at least most of us. Now that you had dessert, you might think, well, the menu is over, right? But there are still two and a half steps to go for the full traditional French meal. For most French people, a meal would not be complete without a coffee. Having a coffee, especially after a big meal is a must-have for many people, including myself. And when we say coffee, we usually mean espresso. If you would like to have a long coffee, like Americano style, you should always specify. 
And last but not least, step seven is le digestif, the after dinner liquor. This seventh step of the traditional French meal is really for special occasions, three hours or more lasting meals. We start the meal with alcohol, the apéro, and we have to finish it with alcohol too, le digestif. French people would only drink liquor at the end of a dinner. There are alcohols for aperitif and others for digestif. For example, cognac is a famous digestif. But what's the last step? The point five, you might be wondering. This one is spread along the main course during special occasions, as the meal can be quite long and hard to digest. So this special thing will help you to manage your appetite and break down the food. This is the eau de vie, literally translated water of life, that can be offered all along the meal to make some space for what's coming next. <clears throat> we call this habit of making drink breaks faire un trou normand. The traditional eau de vie to make a trou normand would be a calva, short for calvados in Normandy. It is a 40 degree or more apple brandy. You can even find it homemade. If you have survived this everlasting meal with French speakers, congratulations really. You are now a French meal expert and might even start to enjoy these long dinners or at least the food. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss the next French Insider Tips. Thank you for watching et à bientôt!